When you first looked at the title of this lesson, you might have wondered what exactly was meant by intelligence types. Intelligence types refers to the theory of multiple intelligences developed by Howard Gardner, a Harvard professor. Gardner believed that there are at least eight different ways individuals perceive and understand the world, each labeled a distinct intelligence. Under Gardner's theory, an intelligence can be defined as a set of skills that allows individuals to find and resolve problems. A student may have all intelligences, but generally it's believed that one or more intelligences are more dominant than others. So what are the eight intelligence types according to Gardner? They are verbal linguistic, logical mathematical, visual spatial, body kinesthetic, musical rhythmic, interpersonal, intrapersonal, and naturalist. We'll learn more about these a little later in the lesson. Traditional schooling, which is centered around teacher instruction, largely favors the verbal linguistic and logical mathematical intelligence types. In order to reach all the other types, Gardner suggests a more balanced curriculum that includes the arts, storytelling, creativity, self-awareness, physical education, role-playing, visualization, and musical performance, among other activities. Gardner also suggests you implement a variety of assessment methods that take into account the diversity of intelligences. In addition, there are self-assessment tools to help students understand their own intelligences. Do you remember the eight intelligence types? Let's complete this review exercise to see what you've learned. Don't be discouraged if you don't remember them all. It's more important that you remember that individuals have diverse strengths and that a holistic approach needs to be taken in order to reach all types. When you're done, click Next to learn more about intelligences and how technology relates to them. The first intelligence type is verbal linguistic. Students with strength in this area tend to think in words and use words easily. They have an affinity for reading, writing, word games, and storytelling. They may also be sensitive to rhythm and order. The technology that would best motivate such students include word game programs, word processing programs, label making programs, and programs where students read and answer questions. Another intelligence type is logical mathematical. Characteristics of this type include ease with numbers and effective deductive and inductive reasoning. They also show strength in categorizing, testing hypotheses, and generalizing. You can reach students of this type by implementing spreadsheet and database programs, strategy games, problem-solving software, and educational simulations showing problems and results. Thirdly, there are the visual-spatial learners. These individuals think in images and pictures. They like to draw and design, have the ability to visualize objects and special dimensions, and enjoy puzzles. You'll have a good chance of reaching visual-spatial intelligences by using desktop publishing, drawing, painting, and graphics programs, as well as multimedia and reading programs that use visual clues. A fourth type of intelligence is body kinesthetic. Students with body kinesthetic dominance are able to move with skill and control and have expertise in using the body to express ideas and feelings. To impact such learners, you can try keyboarding or word processing programs, software that includes animated graphics, and software requiring alternate input, such as a joystick, touchscreen, tablet, or mouse. We're halfway through the list of Gardner's eight intelligences. Do any of them speak to you personally? Chances are you'll recognize your own strengths in a couple of categories or more. Check off the ones that you think apply to you 
and then click Next to learn about the other four intelligence types and the technology that can be used with them. For all the budding Mozarts out there, Gardner has included the musical intelligence type. Musical students are able to recognize sounds and patterns. They are sensitive to pitch and rhythm, think in tones, and learn through rhythm and melody. Programs combining stories with songs and programs that reward with music would be appealing to such learners. Interpersonal intelligence is another type coined by Gardner. Students with this strength possess the ability to communicate effectively, understand others, and interpret others' behaviors. The following types of programs are best for such learners. Those that require decision-making, those that turn learning into social activities, telecommunications, and educational games requiring more than one player. There is also an intrapersonal category, which is marked by an awareness of one's goals and feelings, as well as the ability to use this knowledge for personal understanding. Self-paced programs, tutorials, games where the computer is the opponent, programs allowing students to work autonomously, and programs that encourage self-awareness are the best choices for these learners. Lastly, there is naturalist intelligence, in which students have an awareness of nature and can identify environmental features. They have strong cause and effect sensibilities in relation to natural occurrences, such as weather. They can also formulate and test hypotheses easily. Technology for these learners includes weather probeware, problem-solving software, simulations showing problems and results, strategy games, and database programs. We've learned a lot about different learning strengths and how technology can reach each type. After determining which intelligence types you have in your classes, you can use your findings and the theory of multiple intelligences to guide you in designing appropriate instructional strategies that include technology. This way, students can show off their individual strengths and talents. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.